Hi, Mike Gibson, Roxana Marin, Kenny Rosenfeld coming to you live from Sky 2016. Roxana, what do we have on board here at Sky this year? So I want to welcome everyone to, yeah. uh, to Sky 2016. What an exciting time to be sitting next to the incoming president, incoming president. Kenny Rosenfield, <laughs> yes. a fantastic, incredible friend, but an amazing leader. Absolutely. Sky, watch out, everyone. Sky is just going to like be rocking. There's no question about <laughs> Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But the meeting this year is just filled with so much great science, great clinical um, uh, input from clinicians, clinician scientists, sort of a, a crossroad where science and, and clinical practice meet and feed each other, actually, mm -hmm. because so much of it has to be bilateral. Right. It can't just be that the trials have to feed the clinical trial, the clinical clinicians, but the clinicians need to inform us on what to do and how to best design trials that matter to them. Absolutely. And, and sky's the place that will actually make that happen. Why? Because the people in the trenches are right here. They're coming. They're the ones in the cath lab. They're the ones dealing with the patients, and they're coming here, and they're going to get the best of the science, and, and there's going to be tremendous feedback. And this year, I think it was a very good year for interventional cardiology, would you not say? We're moving towards, we're moving towards um, uh, bioresolvable scaffolds, a great first step forward. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the best in class metallic DES is now available. TAVR is at the crossroads of completely taking over the surgical side, and sky's the place to kind of talk about all of this. And so I'm really, really excited. I'm, and I'll tell you the other amazing thing that's very, very different in this meeting uh, compared to any other meeting is the quality tracks that we have here. And I have to say right here, this man right here is responsible for s introducing that entire concept when he was program chair a few years back and uh, brought over why it's so important that not only to produce and do great work, but to also be accountable for it, to make sure that the quality of the work that we're doing and how we're treating the patients and the outcomes are also accounted for and represented and presented and how we can teach each other into improving quality. And so he's brought that here and sky has been sort of really pushing that whole, um, that whole uh, initiative forward. So this is going to be a great sky. Thank you for covering and you always make it better by giving us live coverage. So we can't thank you enough no, uh, my Mike, for always being the person who's... So, so Roxana, this year you're going to highlight the achievement of women. Talk to us about that. Well, it's not me that's highlighting the achievement of women. I have to say the oh. Society of Cardiac Angiography right. and Intervention has been is the right. first meeting. I meant you as to... in the Queen's you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sky is the going sky. to highlight. Sky is going to highlight. <laughs> yeah. And um, in this year's program, um, you know, it didn't, it, I didn't need to do any convincing as soon as I mentioned and they were like, wow, why didn't we think of this earlier? Of course, it's five women, some of the women who really worked through the trenches, very hard times, extremely difficult. I mean, I think about Cindy Grimes bringing primary angioplasty when thrombolytic therapy led by Eric Topol and other people was just sort of the, the dominant field and she came in and said no we can do it better this is a mechanical problem we can fix it and she did that I think about Nanette Wenger talking about revascularization therapies Renu Vermani keeping us on our toes um, Marie-Claude Maurice wow. sort of the queen and dom of interventional cardiology in Europe who, yeah. who basically pushed forward the entire complex PCI chip concept all over the, the globe with sure. syntax and Excel, et cetera. And then how can we forget and not mention Alice Jacobs, who's, yeah, who was there from the very first NHLBI uh, cath PCI mm -hmm. registry where she was leading that whole effort and now working with the American Heart Association on the action, um, you know, get with the guidelines and what she's doing in STEMI care. Mm -hmm. Tremendous, tremendous women who are going to be, um, you know, honored awarded for the very first time all at once at Sky this year. I'm mm -hmm. so excited about that. That's really... That's great. And then, of course, we have James Forrester today, who's going to give us the Hildner Lecture. I mm -hmm. mean, this is just a great program. Absolutely. I must say so myself. And, uh, <laughs> listen, uh, just so everyone knows, Roxana planned Amazing. the program. Yeah, did a great job. <laughs> Amazing. So we're very excited. So 
Kenny, what's the vision uh, for the future as incoming president? Well, before I can talk about vision, I have to talk about today's meeting and this week's meeting. I mean, Roxana, you've hit this out of the park. We have the most attendees at any meeting to date, any Sky annual meeting to date. And these are the interventional cardiologists in the trenches who are actually doing this stuff. They're the, they're the, they're, they're, they are, yes, they're the scientists, but they're also the clinicians who are actually in the trenches, seeing their patients day to day, getting up in the middle of the night at, at, at 3 a.m., coming in and treating a patient with a STEMI who they don't even know and have never met before. So uh, hats off to them and hats off to all of us. And you, hats off to you. Boy, I'll tell you, I am, I am so excited when I, when I hear you talk team. about the, the, uh, and, the and, your, and your colleagues. Yes, Bob yes, Applegate, Bob Applegate Shami Shami Mahmood, Mahmood, amazing, um, amazing and, partners. And frankly, the whole Sky team. So I'm, I'm, I, I feel so honored to be even here as, a, it's as an hard attendee. It's to get 10 guys in a cath lab together to do anything. Imagine getting 2,000 people together to yes. do something. So <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a we'll tough have, group to We will to have manage. over 2,000 yeah. people at the meeting. Right. Um, I just ran into some folks this morning from abroad, uh, of, uh, several folks from India, uh, a group of guys from Pakistan, uh, a couple of guys from Egypt, some Chinese docs, and it's amazing. This the reach uh, of Sky is much broader than even I imagined. I think we're gonna we're thinking very much about expanding to international. Um, we've already done some expansion, but thinking about having international chapters and um, having them organi organize locally and bring the science, bring the practice, bring the education to to the uh, the venues where it needs to be, you know, vetted. And and um, and so that's that's I, I the meeting is just amazing. Um, it's also an opportunity for us to launch our new strategic plan, uh, which was developed over the past year. Jim Blankenship, uh, under, his, under his leadership, uh, did a, a phenomenal job uh, of orchestrating this uh, in, during a, an interesting transition for the society. And, and at the end of it, we have a phenomenal strate strategic plan. And the, the vision statement that we've uh, come up with is to save and enhance lives. And I don't know anybody who does that more or better than interventional cardiologists. We're the ones, as I said, getting up at 3.30 in the morning, rolling out of bed, jumping into the car, racing to the cath lab with passion and not even knowing what we're gonna encounter. And we jump into the cath lab, uh, immediately coordinate a team that then, it's almost like a symphony uh, happening, opens up the artery and makes a patient's myocardial infarction uh, get better uh, and truly does save and enhance a life at that moment. What better specialty, what better profession to be in? I think that we all feel that way about it and, and that's what Sky's about. So to have that as our vision statement, to save and enhance lives is, is really a feel good. It feels good, it feels right. Um, my, my year I hope is gonna be an exciting one. Um, we are, um, I have several more, more, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I have more initiatives and things that I want to do than I can, than I know that possibly can get done. But we are gonna focus on making Sky uh, um, as much as possible an organization of the, the early career, younger cardiologists. We're gonna focus on that group because I think they are both the present and the future of our specialty. They are what, what that, that's what, makes me burn and churn is to train these new interventionists. I think all of us feels a commitment to them. Um, and, uh, and so we're gonna try to support them and enhance their roles and make this organization as vibrant uh, an organization as it possibly can be. So the specific focus is with things like on education, we're talking about doing regional programs, uh, one day programs, for example. That, and this is an idea that was conceived of by our early leader mentorship docs, the ELM program folks, the current ELM class came up with this concept of doing one day meetings in five or six uh, cities around the country uh, to, to summarize sort of the best of sky, the best of intervention, the things you need to know um, that are more, most current. Um, we're gonna focus on, uh, on uh, high risk intervention and, uh, and uh, CTOs and things that are the sort of the newer things that we, the newer aspects of our, uh, our specialty that, that really enable us to, to, again, enhance and save our patients' lives, that will um, bring PCI, bring intervention to people who aren't necessarily getting it, that might benefit from it, 
while at the same time being very careful to make sure that we don't use in a, a, a intervention or any, any of the things that we do inappropriately. So I think that's a, it's an important balance. Um, we're also talking about doing, uh, en engaging the fellows more, having uh, citywide uh, fellow case-based conferences, which everybody loves. This is what Sky does that better than anybody, which is to have case-based learning. Um, and then uh, we're also developing a research uh, uh, component, uh, which yeah, I think is really important. We need that. to create our own data. We need to own our own data. We need to provide this for our, our members so that they can actually publish on it. They can learn about the things that mean something to us without having it being controlled by others. Um, and then um, there's a whole, I, I, I think on the, on the advocacy front, um, uh, important initiatives, we, we, Sky has been very instrumental, uh, as people may not be as well aware as they should, that the designation of interventional cardiology as a separate specialty by CMS um, was orchestrated, coordinated, and driven by Sky, um, virtually 100%. And it came from us, the initiative, and it, has, it means an enormous amount for our members who are now able to see a patient on the same day that their non-invasive colleague sees a patient and be able to get compensated properly for it and get recognized properly for it, whereas before that was not possible. So, um, uh, lots of great so those stuff. are lots of lots of initiatives. We're going to continue on that advocacy front, protecting the rights of our patients and our members. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to Exciting. it. I'm, I'm excited. Um, my uh, my my phone is always on and I'm listening to members with their ideas for initiatives. Guys, from the, all the people in the trenches, you know, uh, <laughs> You're one the, of them. The, I am one of them. Uh, you know, the, it's always said, you know, it's like hurting cats. Something tougher than hurting cats is hurting interventional cardiologists. So yeah. thank you, you for hurting 2,000 uh, interventional cardiologists, and thank you, Kenny, for leading the herd into the future. Look and thank you for mission. being here and being a part of the program. Great. Thanks, guys. And thanks to all of you for joining us here live from Sky 2016.